Hi survivors, it's me Prepper Zan reporting to you. Hope you guys are doing well because what's going on in this world is not. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers, to all you survivor mothers out there who go and, and get all those preps and pack them sometimes by yourselves and you know and, and uh, feed your families by providing meals and just being great mothers and being good wives to your husbands being if you're not married being good to yourselves or being good to your boyfriends and and especially all the love we give our children you guys deserve a great day i think mother's day and father's day for good mothers and fathers should be every single day not to say that people have to go out and buy things because me i'm simple like i i didn't even want my kid going buying out all this stuff but of course your children when you're good parents they go out their ways and do great things for you sometimes we just want love and affection and just spend some time you know sometimes with us and whatnot but anyway i just want to say happy mother's day you deserve all the love and all the kindness in the world now back to business we need we i want to talk about right now how i was looking at um it was some christian show this morning on television and i love the word of god i'm not saying i'm a saint i have to always say that and clear that up because y'all i mean i don't want people thinking i'm a saint because i'm not <laughs> i'm not i'm a human being but i do love the word of god i was brought up in the baptist family so i do read the scriptures and um and I do believe in, in uh, the word of God. So anyway, in, in scriptures that were saying that there will be wars towards the end days uh, for us not to fret and don't worry, but be prepared because there will be wars and rumors of wars, uh, disease, pestilence, um, hurricanes in diverse places, you know, you know, like what we're experiencing now with all this uh, this weather and I think a lot of a lot of it is weather modification and weather manipulation as well it's not all acts of God this me allegedly but we um, you know these things were already in the scriptures uh, predicting what was what we will be facing what we are facing now and I was looking at the show and they was talking about just the food in Ukraine right the the grains and, and, and different things the foods that come from that part of the world in, in, in that area I don't know why I said the country name because I'm uh, YouTube but anyway they said that country alone could feed the entire world that's how much food that country is known to produce and now they're saying like how now it's going to be a world a worldwide global uh, famine that's also in the scriptures like how it's going to be famine and all these different things pestilence diseases and it's worse than what we really know y'all I know we talk about it on here and we're hearing things we're seeing things unfold right before our very eyes but y'all it's bad and it's getting worse a lot of those people are starving not just in that country but in in other in other countries are starving we have people right here in America who are starving and it made me think you know because we know that these so-called leaders these so-called politicians you know they're ushering out all these different agendas and all these different things right so I started thinking I was like was this also in the plan to target that particular uh, area somebody looked at me I guess cuz I'm looking cute today <laughs> but anyway I'm going house was it in was it in the plan to target that particular area so that could happen to people you know with the uh with the uh famine and whatnot because we see y'all they all in this together allegedly all of them and uh it's just it's just really it's really sad but um i just want to remind y'all y'all keep prepping keep praying and keep doing what you got to do out here because it's going to get worse it's before it get better it's going to get really 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 bad and it's already really really bad and we know that crime is going to be it's already record-breaking numbers of crime but y'all these things were already this, this is biblical prop, prophecy that we're living in right now you know so uh you know I, I i you know it's just it's just unbelievable you know i had somebody comment the other day like they can't believe we're actually living in these days and these times and experiencing these things that we're that we are experiencing but y'all hold on y'all be strong man you know uh a lot of, a lot of people not going to make it a, a lot of people are just not going to make it you know and uh i do know with prepping that gives you some insurance to be able to make it 
I have so many stories and so many great testimonies of how preps got me through. I told y'all when the mandates occurred out there in New York City and I, I lost my work and I didn't have money coming in. I, you know, I was able to come back to Texas and live off all the food stores that I had, you know, and, and, and things of that nature or the land that God blessed me with. You know, if I really, really needed money, money, which I really did at that time, you know, uh, I could have been able to either sell some of the trees on the property. For me, selling <clears throat> selling the land is never an, an option. I um, I talked to this guy. He owned a lot, a lot, a lot of, of land in Texas. I mean, real, very wealthy. And he said, whatever you do, don't ever sell your land. So we just have to prepare ourselves and, and just stay watching and stay proudful. Keep your body and your mind together because that's the main things. You know, you have a strong mind. You can endure all things. Stay proudful. You know, and fast as much as you can and cut back from all the eating because that'll give you more uh, money and then it'll give you more food. You guys watch this world, watch the weather, smell your water, boil your water before you use it, and keep surviving.